in just five minutes i will show you how you can spend just five minutes to do maximum damage on any character in genshin impact in your account and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use something called the genshin optimizer where it is gonna tell us how to build the best character possible starting off we're gonna download a scanner so that we don't have to manually input all the artifacts Click on the scanner list in the homepage, and the scanner that I recommend is going to be the Amenoma scanners. Click on the download link and wait for it to load and just click on the 2.2 patch or whatever its latest release and then download the English version. In your Genshin Impact page, open your inventory and head to the artifact menu. Ensure that you're at the very top of the page and then you want to open up the Amenoma 2. You want to click capture window and ensure that it's a capture window succeeded. Next up, you want to make sure that you only have 5 star check because we only care about the 5 star artifact. Although you could check the 4 stars if you care about those as well, like for example, instructor artifact. Next up, switch the export format to good, which is the Genshin optimizers and change the delay to 0.05 seconds. This will make sure that you scan very, very fast and take up the least amount of your time. Finally, just click start scanning and just wait for it to do your stuff. For example, you see it scan very fast right here. Loading. And boom. Hackerman. Once you're done scanning, click on show exported file and you'll notice that you're given a artifact.good.json in your download folder. Next up, head to the Genshin optimizer and click on database. Scroll down to database upload and click upload. And finally, select the artifact.good.json that you were just given and click on replace database. And now you'll notice that all your artifact has been saved into the artifact page by Genshin Optimizer. You can visit all your artifact right here. Once you have your artifact database set up, it's time to edit your weapon as well. Head over to the weapon tab at the very top and click add a new weapon. Here, I'm going to add a catch in. So I'm going to click the forearm icon at the very top left and I'm going to select the catch. And then of course, my catch is going to be level 90 instead of level 1. So I'm going to click on level 90. It is also going to be a refinement 5 weapon. And there you go. Now I have the refined 5 cache at level 90 into my database. Next up, we're going to head to the character menu and finally add the character that we want to optimize in. Here, we're going to add a new pyro character, which is Chang Ling. And then we're going to switch her weapon into a cache by clicking the switch weapon button. And of course, my Chang Ling is going to be level 90. So I'm going to go to the very top and say select level 90. And of course, my Chang Ling is a triple crown sounding. So I'm going to go to my talent and select talent level 10. Town level 10, town level 10. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit into the constellation level. And here you'll see that I can select the number of constellation I have. In this case, I have a constellation six Chang Ling. So I'm gonna select constellation six. Repeating the same process, I added in my Chayo, my Katsu, and Bennett. And now we're ready to draft our international team. Go back to Chang Ling and click team buff because now we have our teammate in. Select teammate number one to be Bennett, number two to be Katsu, or number three to be Chao, or whatever your teammate is. And we're going to select the buff that they give us. For example, on Bennett, we have the Elemental Burst buff, Fantastic Voyage. While on Kazu, we swirl a Pyro reaction and therefore we are able to grant Pyro damage bonus. And of course, on Chao, we have the normal attack damage buff right here, as you can see. So now that we have everything set up, let's optimize our Shang Ling. So now we're ready to optimize our Shang Ling build. Head over to the build menu and select our Shang Ling as the character that we want to optimize. Next, check that we do have the R5 cache enabled on her Shang Ling. And finally, keep on scrolling down. We want to optimize for fate price damage, but not only that, we want to change our optimized target to Pyronado damage because that's the damage that we care about the most. And finally, just hit generate and wait for it to load. It will load very, very quickly. Once it generated all the build, it'll list all the build that have the highest damage for your characters. For example, let's start with the number one, where it used a four-piece emblem set and the Crimson Witch of Flame Circlet. Simply head back into the game and equip those artifacts onto your characters, and now your character will be able to do maximum damage. Head back to the Genshin Optimizer page where it shows you your artifact build. You want to click on Equip Artifact to make sure that the database knows that you have these artifacts equipped on your Xiang Ling. So now you'll be able to move on to the next character and do the optimization again. So now we can do it for our child as well and eventually we can have a very very good team. In just 5 minutes, you have learned how to spend 5 minutes of your time to do the maximum damage you can do on any of your characters. So if this video helps you out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and most importantly, share with your friends so they can also do maximized damage. And as always, I'll see you guys all next time.
Thank you.